Brown, there we are. Um, you turn it this way and it flips out. Got to figure it out do now. That. I got a hard enough time looking at it and I'm going like this. I'm buzzed up enough let alone to be seeing something flying around on the screen in front of me. I just want to look and be able to touch a button. We are live. We are live now? Yeah, we're live. Let me get on here and... Well, hell, I don't know. I better check here. I don't know if I'm live or not. <laughs> Sometimes Case got to figure that out whether he's live or not, you know? You got them policy valves in your chest, all you don't know. Yeah, I know. I got, I got that. Well, let me, let me hear here. I can hear it right through my hands. Yeah. Through my hands. <laughs> oh, yeah, that little click, 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 clicking sound that goes through. Why? Hey, Sarah, turn that up. I don't know how to do it. You got to turn. Uh, hang on, I'll get it. Hey, for once in my life, I'm upside down and don't know the difference. <laughs> hey, folks, what's up? No way. I can't get it to loosen. Hey. How are you, honey? There, I got it. We need some camera women in here. The place is going off. You're still sideways. I know. I'm trying. <laughs> Bear with me, Case. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Bear with me, audience. What, are we in the EWA again? <laughs> the Federation here again? No, I don't no. I do You know I don't do the yard, man. I don't do the is yard. Is that how you're going to do it? Uh, I hope. It, yeah, it's the only way I can do it. All right, beauty. I'm in there now. Okay. beauty setting out there, baby. Yeah, there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to In the Doghouse with my very special guest, Justin Case, the legend, Justin Case. Please, please, please. <laughs> Tommy, please keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I was about keep to going. say, tell you me what I'm lying. Tell hey, me what look, I'm lying. Legend's been thrown around a lot of times by people. I love the wrestling business. I love the guys who are in the wrestling business. I never thought that after APWA was done with COVID and all, oh, yeah. and things would happen with me, that I'd ever be back again. But I got a new thing going on. You know I'm in RSW. I know. You I'm know, happy to real few wrestling there. could not, I am happy could to not have you there. deal without just in case in there. Yeah. Now that you got rid of the cancers and the garbage in the business, and I see a locker room full of hungry guys that want to learn in this business, I got a new zest for life. Seriously, brother, I got a new zest for that life. That is awesome, amen. You're going to take his amen. old man and you're going to make him want to do this again. Because, oh, I lost my smile. You think Shawn Michaels come up with that, you piece of garbage fool? Robert <laughs> Fuller said it in 1982. Quit oh, stealing stuff, yeah. Sean. We're here. We're hearing it just live keep being now. With, just keep being Pat Pat's little Pat. <laughs> Oh, Let's tell the truth, shoot. man. People in this be business shoot. should not be here. I don't care about Shawn Michaels. He's been somebody somewhere. Who cares? He he never drew a dime. That's serious. As my grandma say, you never drew a dime. <laughs> and the second worst behind <laughs> Kevin Nash, for God's sakes. That, the, 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 they, they can sell show, brother. Don't tell. Don't take our time to figure out who sells and who doesn't, does it? No. When you look at an empty set of arenas, and Shawn Michaels is on top, and that place is empty. What does that tell you? That tells you he ain't selling. The Indies look great today. I've seen some great crowds. RSW's got great crowds coming in. New people, new faces, young kids. Absolutely. Let's show them what's right in this business and make them love this business like I love it, you love it, and Amen. the guys at RSW love it. Amen. Do you think I'd be here this long in this business if I didn't love it? Do you think I want to come back? I did what I got to do. You can't take my memories from me, people. You're seeing my videos. I got much of them. I got scads of, of memories in this business. Yeah, speaking of the videos, the way, let's go into this one. Whatever you want, you go. All right, guys. Listen, I got, I got this right here. The man from the locker room the night of the shoot. With Irish Airborne, and what was the other tag team thing? Uh, it was Smokey C and Justin King, uh, Jason Kincaid. Okay. I don't remember what name they used, but yes, I was there that night. Yeah. And it was a farce because uh, cancer in the locker room, I'm not going to keep going over it, yeah. but T.J. Phillips, who thought he'd run things, sent his guys out there to try to take the belts back and messed up a whole angle But I'm out here trying to cut a promo for the next show. That just goes to show you the people like that don't need to be in this business Absolutely. because they think they can take and make the show about them. The show is about everyone on that show. From the opening guy, which you want to call the curtain jerker, whatever, you, you guys don't understand what curtain jerking is. You don't understand what jobs is. I'm sick of hearing jobbers. You're an enhancement talent. That guy cannot go out there and wrestle somebody else 
unless you make him look good. Amen. That comes from the guys that went out there and did two, three-minute matches in the openings on television and made the guy look good. Well, he made him look good. Then you had the upper-tier guys like Johnny Rods, who was a measuring rod in WWE, WWF. If you got through Johnny Rods, then they knew you were worth putting money into. If you didn't wow. get past him, that's how, valiant, how valuable a person like him and Jose Estrada and some of them guys were. That people don't even think, oh, he's a jobber. Come on. That's, Here's the I deal. don't like that word either. That comes from a nobody and never was. As Buddy Landell would say, don't call me a has-been when you're a never was. I'd rather be a has-been than a never was because I has been there. Yeah, yeah. And I got proof that I could stay with the top people. The reason I didn't is I wasn't given a chance. Other federations wanted to be play games with you and make you get down on your hands and knees and kiss her honey. I don't do that for nobody. Amen. And health problems also held me down. As you know, heart problems don't allow you to be in this wrestling business, people, which I think is a bunch of BS. If Gregory Irons can wrestle with a handicap, I've got a handicap. Why can't I wrestle with heart problems? This is what I don't understand. It's a risk. It's a... But at the same time, it's I your risk. It's your risk. Who should tell you when it's your time to When's quit? When's my time? Because I have a lot of health problems. I've been through 24 surgeries myself. I'm going deaf. I got 14 so, on me, brother. So you yeah, know what so, it's like. Look at me walking around, three plastic valves in my chest, cut from here to here with plates in my chest. You think I want to get back in this business? It's come to it? No, I really don't. But I do. Because, you because I got nothing, I got nothing else left in this world. When you can count all your family members on one hand, and that's it. Oh my After God. that, then I got to leave a legacy behind here. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to help clean up the Indies in here. I want to get rid of the trash that don't belong here. The next is the WWE guys. <laughs> this group, Greg Shriver, who has never been trained. Who you got? Graham Godwin out here. I'll call your name, Graham. What's the matter? You gonna put a pipe bomb in my backyard now? <laughs> I beg you, I beg tonight, you baby. to come near me. All I tonight. won't play games with none of you punks over there. Cause ain't none of you ever trained. Ain't none of you got the ability to even carry a jock strap in a man's business. You heard it. Yeah, yeah I'll it. tell you straight up, because I've had it up to here, brother. I'm sorry to get upset here, but I've had it with people no, like you're that. Good. You're they want to call out people they don't own nowhere. I was in this area in Parkersburg in 1975 and 76. Anybody owns that place over there, it's me. When I go over there, people know who I am. You get a guy over here who's been in the business two minutes. Oh, oh, I'm going to have to retire and hang my boots up. Well, brother, when you got over, you do over 10 matches. It's like I told a guy, you were there last week when I told the guy looking at my ring over there, and he said, Out, call me outlaw. You know what outlaw is. That ring's had more matches than that kid will ever have in his lifetime. Yeah. You look at the matches from 1997. That ring you ran is the same ring we used then. The same exact ring 25 years ago. Wow. And you telling me that ring ain't no good? I'll tell you, you're foolish. That, that ring was nice. I loved it. And I, I love my ring. My kid had fun in it. Oh, and, and I had fun being there. I wish we could have lasted longer. Maybe we'll do this again someday. Yeah, we'll yeah. set it up out there in my spread. Maybe we'll film from there. Maybe we'll put on a show. Hell Maybe we'll do yeah. Casey's birthday bash. How's that? Hell yeah. How about that? August 8th. August 8th, you're invited to Casey's birthday bash live on the internet, brother. Come see me. Come party with yeah. Casey for a while. Come have a good time. We'll see some wrestling. We'll talk about wrestling. We'll watch some good wrestling. We'll talk. Amen. Hell because yeah. this I'm is what it's got to be. I'm all for it. This business needs to be put back into a business and full of men and not full of people that don't belong in this business. You take people that aren't in the business because their daddy built them a ring and put them out here. He couldn't hang with Jim Hawkins when he started WVWA in the beginning. It's why he was set to the side. I've told you that story. Yep. Then Buddy Rose came in. Then after Buddy Rose and ACCW, Mason Dixon came in. And we lasted until a clown named CJ Sensation decided to close us down because he's an idiot in the ring. And I'll unsafe, say that to his face. Unsafe worker. Unsafe worker. You call a Styles Clash in 95 degree heat in the middle of an afternoon when you're told to go out there and just have a good match and enjoy it and you're stupid enough, can't tuck your neck, you want to sue somebody else, you're an idiot. 
That shows signs of unprofessionalism. That shows signs of unprofessionalism, and they wasn't raised by, right by their parents and wanting a free ride. That's absolutely it. Trash. I'll call them trash. They got something to say? Hey, 420, I'll be in Stonewood. The 30th, <laughs> I'll be in Morgantown at the Brew Factory. I'll be at the Canal Theater that night in Buchanan. Open invitation. Come see me. <laughs> Come see me. Case is throwing out the challenge. No, because I'm telling you, right I'm sick live. of it. I'm sick of the bullshit. Excuse my language. No, I'm sick of people fine. playing their games. If somebody's it. got something good going on in this world, somebody's got to come by and crab it around. Now, you want to get somebody upset? They know how I can be when I'm upset. You notice doing the shoot with Aaron Sherborne? Who was in the middle of it stopping? You were right there stopping it. Yes, you were, sir. We saw the Because video. I ain't afraid of no man as Harley Ray said, walking on man's given earth. Yes, God given earth. Because you better whip me, you better kill me. Because if not, I'm coming back. Amen. And I will come back till you're sick of seeing me, and I'll live in your head forever. Well, you've already came back, and, you know, to the... Oh, I'm not back all the way. <laughs> you don't know how... Wait. You, you want to talk to people that know how devious I can be? I can't wait. I cannot wait, Kate. And you want to know how long I can hold a grudge? I can give you a guy's name right now, Mike Dent. Ain't talked to him in 25 years. That's how long I can hold a grudge against somebody that tries to wrong me. And I don't care though today if his wife's dead, his kids are dead, or whatever. I hate to say it that way, but I can care less. You wrong me, I can hold a grudge as long as anybody else. Damn. That's, hey, that's the way it is. <laughs> you want to try to mess me around, you want to try to screw my life over, you're going to get full brunt. Because I got nothing else left to do. Well, yeah. I've been retired for 20 it. years. How many people can retire 48 years old and sit around do nothing but wrestling and have a good time? And smoke dope. <laughs> He's letting it all hang out here. Hey, that's your baby. secret, brother. There I have, nothing, there I have to. to. I take it for there. pain. I take it for pain because I will not take those Oxycontins. Absolutely. I have had that garbage in my life. I will not have somebody else telling me well, i got to live on pills to live. If i got to live like that, then I'd rather be gone. Truthfully, man. Well, I mean, you know, if you... you Let's know, just live, tell the truth. Well, if what quality honest. of life would you have if you got to be... Oh, I watched my mom take 13 pills a day for 20 years. Now add that up. 10 pills a day is three, at times 365 is over 3,000 pills a year in wow. your body. Wow. Multiply that by wow. 30 years, folks. They keep you doped up because they wow. want your money. That is crazy. These doctors and these pharmacies cause all this opium products. Well, yeah, they did. I mean, that's... And they just buy it off, buy it off. You can't buy off all the people they kill. You can't take the memories of the, fa of the family members that died because of those type of people. Absolutely. Wrestling has its own cancers in it. And it's time to get rid of them. And let's do it. you got people, I'll say it again, WVWE, whoever they want to call themselves now, they couldn't even keep their name. Uh, A-E, whatever. The alphabet soup, ladies and gentlemen. They have nobody. Who do they have that's worth anything? Guys that throw punches in. <laughs> <laughs> and the only crowd they got are their family members that are stupid enough to pay to get in and watch that crap. I got a guy that's been in the business six months, crying ready to hang up his boots. Good Lord, give me a break. <laughs> I've been doing this for close to 40 years. And I ain't never hanging my boots up. They're going to stay up till the day I die and then they're going to go with me when I die. Because that's the way it is. You see, I still got the original boots I've had that I had made from Noah Ash, Bill Ash's father out of Paris, Arkansas, 1978. I still wear them today, don't you? You know why? Because I take care of my gear. That's how I ate. That's how I fed my family in times. I might not have made it to a big star in the ring, but I made it outside the ring. I made it as a manager. I took care of guys' with contracts. I took care of guys' with travel on the road. I took care of running shows. I took care of getting people to and from shows, big name stars. There's other ways of making money. I didn't have to be the big star in the ring. I can live with being second best at something. At least I'm still there. There's a big difference fish between in a small pond. There you go. I'm the big fish in the small pond over here. How many guys can last as long as I have and not even have to get in the ring and wrestle? Seriously. Not very many. You and I get in there manager win. as long as I can remember. I remember watching you as a kid over at the Blackberry Festival. Yeah, we started the black, first Blackberry Festival, I believe, in 1995. 
Yeah. So that's almost 30 years ago. But you know what people tell me I'm foolish? I ain't been doing this business for 30 years. But I can prove it on tape, folks. I got nothing to prove to anybody. I know what I got to say. And all of them are upset because, just like I said with Ricky Morton, he can walk into a dressing room, he looks around, he sees what's in there, and what's he do? He comes to the old man and says, yeah, you still work, don't you? I you still work. Well, me and you tonight. <laughs> TJ, I'm sorry he didn't want you because you're useless and worthless and don't know your business. <laughs> he knew he could get a match out of me without getting hurt, and I'd respect him. And I went out and didn't even lay one single hand on him. I missed him with everything. <laughs> and still laid down there and took the pin for the pop in the match. Because you know what mattered? The only thing I cared about was him matching that crowd pop, brother. And it was. And without and me, did. that pop wouldn't have went over without me and him together. We Absolutely. worked together as a team. Sometimes we and him don't always get along. We don't always see eye to eye on things, me and Ricky. But hey, when it comes down time, just like him and Robert, you put your things aside because it's those people that paid the ticket price to come in there. And I'm sick of calling them marks because without those supposed marks, we wouldn't be here today. Absolutely, amen. If anybody's the mark in this business, and I've told the big name guys that, and I'll tell anybody else that, the only marks in this business are us because we know what we got to do, and we still go out there and try to prove that it's not this way. So who are the marks? We are. Because right. we're the ones that now, want to make I'm other gonna, people. I want that person's money. Yeah. I'm not going to disgrace them just to look like I'm somebody in this business and I know what the word mark means. Come on, people. There's a lot of terminology in this business. A lot of you don't even know the terminology. You don't know Tennessee two-step. You don't know nothing. Seriously. Amen. They come in there and they talk crap. You know. You don't even know how to do a Tennessee opening? Wow. Let me explain to you. It's, he'll come in, face, body slam, body slam, hip toss, out of ring, pow, ah. Now you know what you're talking about? Simple thing. But they don't learn that. They don't want to stop and learn. Oh, I know this. Let's do this. Let's, let's do 1,500 moves. But if that you do 1,500 moves, that means be like nothing. Nothing. What leaves what's left for the next man? Let's only worry about us, Hooventude Guerrero. That's not what. Oh, he's another one. He's another piece of garbage. I'll tell him to his face, piece of garbage. He only cares about himself, not to match. I'm not the only one to say that. I'll tell you who in this business who's hard to work with and who's hard to do business with. There's a lot of them. A lot of them I wouldn't use it or call because of their attitudes. Low key for one. Would I put him on a card? No, he hurts other people because he get he's upset about something. No, I can't do that. No, you can't. I'm not gonna put myself in jeopardy. My company, and my my money, and my what I own for somebody else. No, that's wrong. That's not right. No, that ain't. If you can't control yourself in that ring and be a professional, then get out of it. Amen. I don't care if he likes it or not, or who likes it. <laughs> it's a straight up truth. Hey, it's a shoot, man. That's why I, I said. Had I had Ross calling me on the Florida show, telling me he's coming regardless of the time. We don't need him. Who is he? Now, he's kind of over a fucking shirt in the WWE. For God's sakes, you got there and you're making good money and you got to complain. Yeah. What the <laughs> You're doing six figures and you're a top star and you're going to complain about a shirt. There ain't nothing to complain about. What is there to complain about? Well, you about? see what they said. See you later. Yeah. Same as you can't tell me that noses will affect Paul's noses, the big nose, noses is what I call him. <laughs> because you can't tell me that he didn't know the, of the debauchery that Vince and them were doing in that office. Oh, absolutely. He had to have There's done. Stephanie knew, noses knew. Absolutely. What do you think Shane left years ago? He wasn't going to be part of this debauchery. He's the only McMahon I call that is a true McMahon. That is a man. His daddy and his dad's a debauchery. It is a, did nothing new. This was reported in the 70s and 80s. Oh, no, you people are crazy. You know what you're talking about. This is Vince McMahon. 85 Vince McMahon the is first a first woman referee, 85. 85. You got Mel Phillips, who uh, molested young ring boys. You got Terry Garvin, who had a problem with sniffing kids' feet. Even Tony Atlas got women walking on his face. Ew. This is the kind of weird shit you got in this business. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of it going on, brother. You don't even want to know some of the stuff that goes on in the locker rooms in some of these places. I said, <laughs> I shook my head and just looked, and I thought, if I could just have my phone at this time, 
in these days when we had a phone and I could record this shit. <laughs> because, man, you would not believe some of the debauchery I've seen going on myself. And it's ridiculous. I want no part of it. I'm there to do a job and get paid. Hey, yeah, it's it. a wrestling business. It is a business. A business. It's a business. I have to make money. I got to eat. I got to pay for my way there. I got to pay for my way back. Well, yeah, you got to have money. I mean, you, you got to get from to and from places. And that's the, the whole show. idea is people just don't understand that. And they think they know the business, and then you get these little pop-up places. Again, like WBW, who are they? But I want any, I challenge any of their guys to come in the ring with, say, Billy Knox. Billy Knox to kill him. It'd be over. You know it'd be, it'd be over. But it'd let's be see. Over He's minutes. one of our top guys. Let's see. Come on. Come challenge Billy Knox. Come it'd on, be over guys. in two minutes. They won't, it won't, it won't even show up. No. Graham, I challenge you. Come see Billy. Come see me. <laughs> Come see me if you want. You got something to do, boy. You showed up less than six times at a training session. And you did nothing. I'm witness to that. I'm witness to that. He showed up six, about so six there's times. There's your pipe bomb, brother. Six times being nice. That'd yeah, that'd be, be nice. nice. That's like Jack Riffle. Well, I wrestled that ghost I don't know how many times. <laughs> I love the ghost Jack. of Jack Riffle. I love Jack, but yeah, yes, I'm telling you straight you're, up, he's yeah. a liar. He was never trained by Mason Dixon. Pat was never trained by Mason Dixon. I was at that training center from day one to the day it ended. He did not train with Luke Gallows. I was there, and I got Jim Hawkins can vouch for me, Punchy McGee can vouch for it, and two or three others that were in that gym the whole time. So, who's the one that's telling the truth? I don't have to tell you. You can see pictures of me and him together in our early days. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're because I got nothing to hide. And do I claim anything to that? No. No. Even though he came up for my birthday, the only time he ever came to Shinston, West Virginia, was he came up to surprise me on my birthday. Show. Oh shit! That's awesome. To pay me back because he's a hell of a nice guy, one of the best guys in the world. And I wish you all the best, brother. You and your wife. That that's all sweet. of you. You're great people. You don't meet people like that in this business. That's why I'm proud. And I told him. I'm proud of you, brother. You were the only people that made it from this area that had the guts to do it. I've seen them all. From Jimmy Vegas with his popped out, steroided up bodies, they didn't make it. That's the one I chopped in the chest and cried about. <laughs> That's the kind of garbage I put up with out of these Pittsburgh boys. Oh, my God. We won't even get into that story. I hope never to see any of them down here. <laughs> Because you might bump into a few. <laughs> well, I bumped into all of them over the time. And tell you the truth, I wouldn't give you a dime for any of them. That's God's honest oh, truth. Shit. The God's honest truth. You baby. heard it here. It's shoot, baby. It's God's it's honest shoot. truth. Because <laughs> they ain't got a clue how this business goes. Here's the thing, though. Case don't shoot blanks. No, I don't shoot blanks. <laughs> hey, I'll agree with one thing. There's some good guys out there. Swerve Strickland. Yeah. Shane Strickland. Excellent guy. No, I'm not saying all of them are like that, but 90% of them are. 90% of them are. I don't care if you're facade, you're gory, or whoever you are. You mean nothing to me. Outside of Pittsburgh, what do you mean? Nothing. And that's just the way it is. It's a one-time trick pony gimmick. It's just like Lord Zalton crying to me that he don't get used, having people cry to me that he don't get used. I got a good clown eyes. I got to throw a bully ox. Why would I want him? You got the clown gimmick. You don't Plain need as he never gimmick. done anything for me in my career except take money from me and lie to me. And he's got one of them, yeah, lifestyles. Look at the Facebook. <laughs> hey, I didn't say it. He said I'll it. It's say a shoot, it. baby. I'll say it. It's a shoot, baby. Kitty, you got Let's anything to it. say? You know where I'm Let's at. You got my it. number. I've been there for 45 years. Come see me. How many people are watching right now? I don't think anybody's watching. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't mm -hmm. care. Two's watching right now. Do them all watch. They got a question? Tell them to ask me a question. I'll answer anything truthfully. I've had it. Go ahead, people. guys. Come on, ask some I'm questions. I'm going to step out and grab me a smoke. You guys get some questions in here. Ask me whatever you want. I'll tell you the yeah, truth. Yeah, we'll, we'll... I got nothing to hide. I'm afraid of nobody on God's green earth. I don't care about anybody. You got something to say, come see me. That's just the way, <laughs> no, that's the way it is, man. I've had it up to here with people. And they're crap. Amen. They want to talk crap on the internet. I'm talking crap straight to your face, live and in your face, telling you that. All and you got to do, all you got to do is ask the right question, and I will tell Case as soon as he comes back in from smoke break. I am here with you live. What we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about this beautiful belt that's in front of me. This belt. Push it. 
Uh, this design of this belt was uh, held by Buddy Rogers, and Buddy got beaten by Bruno San Martino for this actual belt, which actually started out as the North American Heavyweight Championship and later turned into the WWWF Heavyweight Championship that Bruno held for a minute before he turned it in to the blue velvet type belt that he held back when he was champion. I hope uh, I hope you all are enjoying the show. Uh, Case is uh, laying it in, man, laying it in thick. I hope somebody jumps on and starts asking some questions uh, because Case is here for a short time. And uh, I'm running out of beer. Sorry. I'm a dog. Dog doing dog. And shout out to Polly here. I'm wearing Polly's shirt tonight. I'm wearing Kelpa's shirt. Yeah. That's my dude. <laughs> Shout out to RSW. Uh, this Saturday, March 30th, we are going to the Mountain State Brewing Company in Morgantown. And then, same day, same day, we're going to Buckhannon to the Canal Lounge. And then, uh, April 20th, on 420 of all days, we are going to be blazing it up, live, beautiful action with RSW inside the fire hall at Stonewood Fire Department. So please come on out April 20th to check those shows out. And then May 25th, you can see the dog that calls it down the middle, referee T-Bone Jones, live and living college, Jack. You can see me May 25th at the USW uh, United States Wrestling uh, is going to be at the Ellenmore Fire Department. Sorry about that, guys. I had a brain fart for a minute. We're going to be at the Ellenmore Fire Department May 25th for that show, too. So we got a lot of good shows coming up. Uh, we're going to see a lot of good action from a lot of great wrestlers. Be sure to check out the Wrestle Roney YouTube channel because he's got a lot of great uh, footage from... Mason Nixon Wrestling from APWA getting ready to come out. That is from Case's personal collection. From Justin Case's very personal collection. So you guys be sure to check out the Wrestle Running channel. Plus we'll have a lot of the RSW content there. And Spooky Lou has other content that's going up and that is amazing. The footage he's putting up here lately has been beautiful, and uh, I hope he keeps at it because I'm hoping to see some of my footage soon <laughs> from back in the day. Case will be back here in a minute, guys. If anybody wants to ask Justin Case any questions, feel free to shoot them in the comments there. Um, I'm reading them right now on the laptop that's behind the belt. Uh, I got everything set up. I want to say thank you to my beautiful wife, Sarah Jones, for hooking, hooking us up with this beautiful new laptop and the cell phone that's recording us and the tripod that's holding it. You know, without her uh, letting, me, uh, letting me invest in myself and standing behind me and believing in what I'm doing YouTube-wise, um, I wouldn't have all this wonderful stuff. You know, she puts up with a lot of my crap, a lot of my shit, and I want to thank her live and on this podcast or whatever you want to call it, live stream, whatever. I'm not uh, YouTube savvy on all the terms and te technological shit that uh, most people are. If you want to ask me a question, feel free to shoot it in the comments too. I'll answer any question you got. Case should be coming back any minute now. I don't know where he's at. He went to smoke a cigarette.
Come on, somebody should have a question for Case. It says there's two people watching. One of you guys might have a question. Come on, ask, answer. I'll answer anything you got. Just ask away. Sorry. Um, like I said, we got this Saturday, March 30th, two shows, one day. The Morgantown show to Mountain State Brewing Company is a free show, RSWC and Red. Um, and then the Canal Lounge, we're back, RSW, we're back. Yeah, we're definitely going to be back. And we're going to be back in a big way. It's going to be a big show. I hope everybody comes out and checks us out. Um, and hopefully everybody enjoys it. Like I said, I'm just waiting on Case to get back. Um, like I said, the weekend is going to be big. It's going to be very big this weekend. Well, I'm waiting on Case. <laughs> Sorry, guys. April 20th is going to be a big show, too, at the Stone Stonewood Fire Department. I'm excited for that show because that's so close to home. Well, hey, what's up? Somebody said hello in the comments there. How you doing, Fish Boy? I think that's what, what, how you would pronounce that, Fish Boy. Zafran37, ah, how you doing? How y'all doing tonight? Hopefully you're doing well. We're going in 31 minutes. I'm probably going to stay up for an hour on this with Case. I'm giving him enough time to chit chat and smoke a cigarette. I'm killing down a beer. Yeah, shoot with the health question, fish boy. You go right ahead, brother. I'm looking at your comments. I ain't gonna type if I could talk to you through the camera. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know, you know. If you poop twice a day, is it healthy? Hey, uh, it might be. It might be. They say you need to go at least once a day, I guess. So, yeah, if you're pooping twice a day, the plumbing's probably working pretty good. I'm no doctor, though, so check with your medical professional. <laughs> I told you I'd answer your question no matter what it was. You want to be stupid and ask a stupid question? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Amen. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and like he said, uh, he was talking earlier about meeting some of these big names and working with some of these big names. I, uh, when we were at APWA, I had the privilege to work with some of those big names like Ricky Morton and I worked with, uh, who else I worked with? J Jason Gifts Kincaid, Facade was there. We had Scott Steiner and Rick come in from Frontier Days. Ted DiBiase, those were, they were all great. They're, they were all great people. Uh, hopefully we get to work with more stars coming up very soon. We got all the RSW stars of our local home brand right here in the West Virginia area. And they're getting bigger and better and faster and stronger and meaner and they're getting hungry. RSW's coming. And it's going to be bigger, better, better than ever. Especially now that we got Justin Case in it. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm plumb out of. I'm 
the USW show. Let, let, let me talk about that for a minute. Brian Hardy and the USW show is going to be at the Ellenmore Fire Department May 25th. I hope you guys come out and check that show out. That's a good show. Uh, I had a lot of fun at the last one. I got the flyer right here behind me from the last one. Poster up on my wall. That was a good show at the last show we had there. Um, we actually had RSW represented there with uh, Billy Knox versus Turkana versus J.D. Gatton. And uh, Billy Knox came away with the win in a fatal four-way elimination match. Billy Knox got the pin over Turkana, the Death Warrior, with his uh, Helter Skelter Moonsault pin. I really don't know what else to say, guys. I'm waiting on Case to come back. He kind of disappeared on me. Hey, Case, you coming back? <laughs> he kind of disappeared on me smoking. And when he gets to talking while he's smoking a cigarette, he'll forget whatever else he's doing. <laughs> So how are the two people that are watching? How's everybody doing tonight? You guys can comment in there and uh, I'll talk to you. I mean, shit. You ask any wrestling question, I got knowledge about a lot of stuff uh, wrestling-wise. I've seen a good bit of shit over the years. Oh, I got three watching now. Wow, I got to up my content. I got to up my game a little bit here. Uh, I'm just waiting on Case to come back to the room. When he comes back to the room, uh, we'll ask him some more questions or get him talking again. Well, dang, I dropped back down to one. Damn it. Come on, people. Stay and talk to me. I'm bored. I'm boring, I think. That's why you're running off, huh? <laughs> But ain't this a beautiful belt, ladies and gentlemen? That's a beautiful fucking belt. This was used for when uh, Buddy Rogers was champion. This replica was used when Buddy Rogers was champion and Bruno beat Buddy for the belt. Hey, Case, are you coming back? Did you get lost? <laughs> he took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. <laughs> I miss Bugs Bunny, damn it. <laughs> we are definitely in the doghouse tonight. And we're waiting on our guests to come back from the cigarette break. I hope he comes back soon. Or it's just me sitting here alone. <laughs> Fuck it. La, 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 la. I don't know what else to say, guys. Wait no case, man. We're probably going to end this live very, very soon. Hey, Case! Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get our guests.
Any other people coming in? Uh, I One guy asked me about pooping. Pooping? <laughs> pooping? <laughs> What's he, you got a problem? Come take yeah. some Max <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you got we're that back. Kind of, if you got that problem and can't poop, that, hey, man, it's just something yeah. I can't help him with. <laughs> he said, do you poop twice a day? It, it's very healthy if you do. I said, I don't know. Oh, no, you're good. We were we were talking. We got into a deep conversation. <laughs> yeah, we were in a deep conversation. Because just like this stuff good. here, I mean, you're come good. on. Why don't we get a good. question like hey, that? Hey, we got three people watching. Oh, boy, Jason's lovely. Jason's back, lovely. guys. Yeah, I had to come back. I had to calm down. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just the same old crap, man. It's just somebody's always got to try to throw... Hey! Or something spooky Lou! Spooky Lou! Spooky and Lou! Our, and, hey! What's up, Russell Roney, baby? I was just talking about you, Spooky. <laughs> love you, brother, man. He said, love you both. Hey, brother. Love you, brother, man. Hey, keep him posts coming out, brother. Yeah, keep those videos rocking, man. I'm looking now. There may be some more coming at you, brother. Just give me time. Oh, give me man. time. We got a lot, a lot to cover over the years here. Hey, Spooky, what do you think of this beautiful belt sitting right here? What do you think of that, baby? Can he name this belt and where it originally came from? Yeah, I already said. <laughs> Did you? Said, okay, he gave it away. It. See, party pooper over here. <laughs> <laughs> got to give it away. He said, thank you for the contribution. Folks are loving them. I love it. Hey. And I'm just trying to bring some history into the business and let people know that prior to 1985, there were wrestling. There was wrestlers. It's just like today, I mean, Gorilla Monsoon used to say, they don't know a wrist lock from a wrist watch. Today it is, they don't know a wrist lock from an Apple watch. That's what's, <laughs> a, that's what's so pitiful about it. Nobody wants to grab a hold and work it anymore, do they? No. How many times have you ever seen guys grab a hold and work a hold in the ring? It's it, jump up, it, roll around, it, go through the emotions, emotions and it, it yeah. means nothing. It means nothing at Slow all. Slow it down, make it. Slow it like down. It. Take you. Got to give people time to process what they see in front of them. You know, I hate to say it, but West Virginia people ain't the brightest in the world. <laughs> you have to do two steps and then stop, and two steps and then stop. Let's be truthful about it. <laughs> you know, you know, we seriously, love West guys, Virginia, I love though. my people much. I'm from West Virginia, and I'm proud of it. I used to have people be just be disgraced to be from West Virginia. I'm from West Virginia, and I'm damn proud of being from West Virginia. You I know those things? I'm damn proud of being from Clarksburg. How many guys do you know at 63 years old that's never been locked up, put in a cruiser, been in jail, or in a handcuffs outside of a bedroom and a wrestling ring? <laughs> uh, mind you. Uh, there's never been locked up in this oh, area. Shit, I'll beg any of you people to come up with that. Very, very few of us have. And went out of here and made something of his name. No, I wasn't a wife beater like Tommy Thomas. Oh, Yeah, shit, Jerry snap, Thomas, crackle, your brother pop. was a woman beater. Oh, snap, You can crackle, take it out. I can care oh, less about that state athletic commission. Hey, hang on. To be fair, the, that Viper versus Baldo was Bilda? a... Our Bilda was a fun rough lol uh and whoever ran the camera should never touch a camera again <laughs> hey sometimes it, it happens it happens well do you what would you like to come out and run the camera for us well he does well, welcome now. to what well, does now they get <laughs> hey sometimes in those hardcore matches the, the cameraman were just as ready in, in the match as anybody else you know, you move, never right? knew they had to move. They had to get and out a lot of them didn't understand that. And it's hard running the camera. Believe me, I've run cameras years ago. And you're filming something, all you see is that right in front of you. Now, you cannot watch what's behind you. You don't have, back then, we're we didn't have guys side. carrying our cords and telling us, oh, back up, back up, back up. We didn't have that kind of crap. I wish we did have a good crew, film crew. Give me eight people to film in here. We'll give you a show you'll never forget in angles you won't believe. But you can't get that many people to do it. You know what it's like trying to get somebody to film a show? It's hard. It's tough. It's hard. Spooky knows all about it. Spooky Lou knows all about it. I tried to... <laughs> Spooky said they all can't be Spooky Lou's. I understand. Well, no, it's the deal. <laughs> I, and the Spooky can see on the tapes that I sent him. I at least try to do two camera shots. At one time, I had four to six cameras lined up to go. But I had nobody to run the box. 
my video box. I had nobody run cameras. I had to have one stationary camera, one guy run the camera because that's all I could get. I paid them twenty dollars an hour to come in there and film. They still wouldn't do it. They wanted more money. Wow, what who the are hell? these people? What do you think they are? They ain't nobody. And then you get half ass camera angles. They're too busy watching the show, not paying attention to that to what's going on. Yeah. The same as I set a monitor on the desk with the guys to commentate with. You know why we do that? They shouldn't be watching what's going on around. They should watch what's on the monitor because that's what people are seeing on TV. And just because a guy went over there and pile drives somebody doesn't mean, ah, oh, he just pile drived him. Okay, people on TV already saw that and know what it is. Yeah. Why do you got to repeat that? You don't need to. You don't have to. Oh, my God, look at that pile yeah. driver. And it, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's oh, no, say, Hey, he just wiped him out. No, Something yeah. simple and easy. I mean, they know what it is. If I wanted a blow by blow, let's put it on the radio then. Russell was on the radio years ago and they were blow by blowing. Somebody would tell you every move and everything that went on in the night. That's not worth watching no. or listening to. I want to see what's going on. I want to know what's happening and be part of that. And that's why the fans yeah. come out here to be part of that show. And if they're not entertained and they see this garbage like WVW and some of the other trash in this area, they want to they want to associate us with the rest of it. I get yeah, asked yeah, a lot of times. I get asked a lot of times. Is that part of your bunch? No. No. <laughs> and I tell them straight up, no. Our guys are trained. Our guys have been somewhere. Our guys have seen things. You watch. What was EWA before Don West and I came up through here? Nothing. Nothing but a bunch of guys from the backyard. What did you see in that meantime? How many stars did you guys see in that meantime going through this area? 20, 30, 40? Yeah. In a five, six year period? Who could do that? Not very many. Not very many. And believe me, it did cost a whole lot of money. You know what it cost? Knowing these guys and treating them fairly and treating them like they got common sense. When you treat people right in this business and you take care of the boys right to begin with, they'll trust you and they'll come work for you. They'll break their Earth backs and work case. for little or nothing for you if you treat them right and you pay them right. You tell them you're going to pay them this, you pay them that money. You tell them to go get them a room, you get them a room. Because here's the bottom line. Any star that's worth his amount of money, if he says he wants $1,000, well, you better prove to me you can sell <laughs>
Oh, come on. Oh, God, God. We're live, buddy. We're live, brother. You got to go. Oh, there he goes. I love you, brother. Be safe. You take care. Be safe out there, man. Saturday. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Hey, no problem. No problem, man. It's always good this to be is, here. Hey, this is what live streaming is all about. A lot of fuck-ups and shit. And you don't know what's going to happen, man. You, you never know, know what's going to happen. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> the grass smells greener on the other side, baby. <laughs> all right, guys. I think that's where we're going to leave off for the night. Have hey. a great night, folks. And don't forget, 420, smoke in day, brother. Yeah, we go. Look for the mushroom cloud. Look for that mushroom cloud. You'll find just in case. <laughs> hey, here's another thing. 420. We're gonna be live in the fire hall, burning it up with the action of RSW. So make sure you come out. And remember, cases coming home. 420. Stonewood. I'm coming home, baby. Have a good night, guys. God bless. Peace, love, wrestling. God, peace, love, wrestling, and nothing else matters. T-Bone out. Have one for everybody. <laughs> hey, baby, look, it's a uh, uh, year-round mistletoe. <laughs> oh, my cats are lucky. Hey, I'm still live, guys. <laughs> I got to get back.